Hangbok here, and we're going to unbox an audition guitar. So let's get started. Here's the audition guitar box. This is the front cover of it. And as you see, it looks pretty cool. And if we flip it over to the top, you'll see that it has a handle for people to carry it around easily. And here's the back. It shows you what's inside the box. And here's the side view of the box. Okay, now this is all in Korean because this was only sold in Korea. It was not released in America before. These are also very limited. If you get your hands on one or if you are able to buy one, you are going to be pretty lucky. Now let's go ahead and open the box and check out what's inside. Now if you notice there's two tabs on the top of the box. This is where you're going to just pull the tabs out. Right, they just slide right out. And you basically just lift the top cover off. And I'm going to just place it down so you can see the inside as it opens. And as you lift it up, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Now the back part just slides back out. It's, I don't think it's supposed to, but it's pretty old and the cover could just slide right off of it. And right here we have a packet full of stickers, an audition card, and an instruction booklet. And here we have the guitar pick, the guitar strap, and the strum bar inside the box. And to get the guitar out of the box, you lift the side tabs up and lift open the top layer. And this is usually tied up already. Those are just to keep it in place so it doesn't move around so much. And then you just take it right out. Okay, and this is the top part of the guitar. And we'll go ahead and just move this box to the side. Okay, now let's take a look inside this box first, which has the pick, the strum, and the guitar strap. And this also has a tab on the back of the box. Just go ahead and lift it up. This is the guitar strap. Next one we have here is the guitar strum. And the last piece inside the box you find is the guitar pick, which is right here. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the guitar pick first.
and as you can see it's a pick attached to a cord which is got a plug on the end of it that goes right into the guitar the tip of the pick is actually metal and right here we have the guitar strum most of you may be more familiar with this kind of guitar play it's where you flick it up and down and it's just a plastic piece that attaches into the guitar now you don't have to use this one but if you're more comfortable with this one then you can go ahead and switch it out and this is the guitar strap and it's also adjustable to fit over your shoulder better depending on how tall you are or how big you are and it basically just goes on the ends of the guitar where you can rest it over your shoulders so you don't have to worry about dropping it or it's more comfortable to play so that's inside this box and put these off to the side we'll go ahead and see what's inside this packet now the first thing here is the audition code card to get a limited edition guitar in the game it's a pretty nice looking card all right and in here we have a few sheets of stickers there's one of the sheets it's got a fireball audition logo a character some words like rock and rock your heart T3 company the next sheet of stickers we have here has like butterfly another audition logo the one in Korean a couple characters with their guitars and some designs And the third sheet we have here has also got some of the same stickers as well as some arrows and new designs and some logos. Now these are for your guitar if you want to decorate it to customize it to fit your own style. And you can go ahead and stick those right on the guitar. Or anywhere else. Like notebooks or stuff too. And this is the manual. It's all in Korean. If you can read Korean, you can go ahead and read through it. It just basically tells you how you use your guitar, how to set it up, and how to switch the strum bar. Also on this side, it does explain about the back of the guitar where it has a lock and unlock feature for your guitar when you attach it together in one piece. And that's what's in that small packet. Okay, we'll go ahead and put these back. All right, now let's see. The next piece what we're gonna show is the base of the guitar and the neck of the guitar. Now this is the base of the guitar. You've got the cord on the bottom of it. Okay, let's just take this piece out first. All right, now on the bottom, you'll see that there's a cord. 
Now the cord has a USB. Now this plugs right up into your computer as long as you have a USB port. And there's also a cap on here to protect it from getting ruined. It just slides right off and slides right back on. It's recommended that maybe you put it back on the uh, USB connector to prevent it from getting any damage when you're done using it. This is the guitar, and as you can see, there's the whammy bar. You can press down on it. It also rotates a little bit, side to the side. It's actually a 360 rotation, um, but it doesn't press when it's on the further end of the guitar. These four buttons here are your shortcuts. So F5, F6, F7, F8, those are your shortcuts and the square is your enter key to just simply press enter. And the metal wire, which is used just like a string when you play the guitar. Now on the bottom here, you'll see that there is a little port this is where your pick connects to. A little uh, cover for it, just make sure that's on if you're not using it so it doesn't get damaged easily. And this is the lock and unlock slider for when you want to take apart the guitar. If you ever want to put it away or pack it somewhere, you can go ahead and use that. Now, as you see, there's the connector. It's an HDMI port, and it's what's used to connect into your guitar. Now here is the neck of the guitar. This also has the tilt sensor, so if you tilt the neck of the guitar up when you're playing, you will get additional points as well. Now as you can see, there are eight keys, or eight buttons. Now these buttons, compared to the Guitar Hero controllers, um, instead of five, there are eight. Now they can be played on different difficulties by wanting to play just four keys or eight keys. Now they do press down, and not only do they just press down as a Guitar Hero controller normally would, these keys also have a sliding feature for extra points. So there are certain parts of the songs where you can press the keys down and slide them up and get additional points. Just like a real guitar, there are times when you can actually pull down on the strings or push them up to give a different pitch of a tone. So once you are ready to put this together, simply just match up with the shapes of the HDMI ports. You don't want to put it upside down, just make sure that the buttons are all facing up and you should be fine. You push it all the way into the guitar, you'll hear a click and it should be locked right in. It's sturdy and it doesn't shake, it's not, it doesn't feel loose at all, and it's pretty comfortable. Now if you do want to take it back apart, you just simply slide this over, you unlock the guitar, and you just simply pull it right out. Now it might be a little tight, so just to be careful, 
you might want to hold down the base on a desk or have it to your side and just pull the top part right out of the guitar. Be sure no one's next to you. If you pull too hard and it just kind of yanks out, you might hit somebody. So just make sure you're careful. But that is a lock feature on the back. Okay, now let's go ahead and see this. This is the alternate strum piece that you can switch out. If you don't like using the pick and string, you can go ahead and switch it to this, which is more of the Guitar Hero type controller. And they're connected through just these little screws. You won't lose them, they're actually connected to the piece themselves. You just unscrew the pieces out with a small screwdriver. And when you pull out the piece from the guitar, you can just put this one back in. And just make sure that the pieces match because on the bottom, they will have a little connector and they just connect right into the guitar. So just make sure that they're going into the right place or you'll be ruining your guitar piece. Now this is the pick and to simply install the pick, just go ahead and take this part of the plug. Open the bottom of the guitar, just lift the, the flap and go ahead and plug it right in. And that's it. You have your pick all ready to go. The top part of the pick has a little groove where you can fit your thumb in. You just basically play it like you would with a real guitar. And this actually works if you press the keys correctly on the right time and strum the guitar, it plays just like a guitar. Now when you take out the piece, just make sure to close that on the bottom. Just to make sure it's in good shape. Now here's the strap. Here are the end pieces. The strap is adjustable. If you want to make it longer or shorter, just pull on either side of it and it will adjust. Now to attach this onto the guitar, we're going to need to Put it over the ends on the top and the bottom. Now they do have a little slit on the ends of the strap. That way it makes it easier to attach it onto the guitar. You can slide it right into the strap. And it should be in place and it's fine. And we'll go ahead and put it right on the bottom piece as well. Make sure you have the, the slit a little bit open so that it's easier to push the pieces through the opening. They go right over the piece. And they're nice and snug. You can adjust it to how you feel most comfortable. And that's basically it. You have your whole guitar here. One thing you want to make sure is to plug your guitar into the computer before you start up your game. You will have a small badge on the top of your name. If you have the guitar and you're the DJ in a guitar mode, everyone in that room will get 20% more experience. 
so you could be getting a lot more experience with the guitar controller. For anyone that actually reserves a guitar and makes that pre-order payment, they will be getting a unique guitar item in the game that lasts forever as well as a closed beta key for the next Red Banner game that's coming out. Now remember these are very limited, they do not make these anymore. So if you don't get these while you still can, chances are you might not be able to find these anywhere else. Thank you for watching and hope you are looking forward to getting a guitar! Bye!